Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I'm here today with a WYXE or Weiss project share. Now I was set a few dies and I'm going to show those to you and um, I decided to make one project and two items. So I was sent a couple of words both of which say love you and I will link to these. I'll do a quick measurement. And that is, ooh, let's get that right. I like to go cut line to cut line. You can see where it is there. I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> now I know that it's over three and a half inches. Yes, you can complain about me down below. And I was sent two planner dies both of which are squirrely swirly. That one's more sort of floral, um, scrolly squirrely. And you can see the different page reinforcers there. And you get some star reinforcers. And you also get a really pretty label with that one. I'm going to measure that. And I was also sent this one, which has a couple of sort of like iron type brackets that you can pop onto there. So I'm going to measure this one and this is an A5 size planner and that measures seven and three quarters by, oh, let's look at that. It's got it in the wrapper there, five and a half inches. So that's that one. And I'm pretty sure that this one is exactly the same size. Nope. The scroll squirrelies on that one take it to eight and a quarter inches on that one, but it's the same width. So I was sent two planner dies. Now I haven't used these and I haven't used my other planner dies yet because I've been in and out of the garden chopping the heads off things, but I need to go and build my stand for my planner pages. So I'm going to one week go planner page mad and you'll see them all made up together. So I was sent those and I was also sent this, which is absolutely huge. Look, I pop it down on my desk and squiddle it around and it just about fits in. <laughs> And it also comes with a kiss plate and a kiss border edge. Now, I can tell you that this is big and it measures cut line to cut line 10, 11 inches. It measures 11 inches. And if I scoot it up there a little bit and go along there, it is five and a half inches so it makes a great size pizza box so what i did was i i made one and i used this lovely paper i absolutely love this paper i love plaids but i just thought this was really summery and like berries and blue sky and sunshine and this paper comes from Tuesday morning and I have a cactus in my craft room and I'd made up some stuff and this was sitting on top of it when I decided I was going to mist my cactus so uh, I misted the cactus but I didn't miss my box and I warped my paper so I actually made that one up and I just popped some flowers in there because I'm not a candy eater. So I never really buy candy to put into anything. So I, I popped four handmade flowers in there. But you can see the water sent my box all wonky. So I do apologize for that. And then because of that, I did go and make another one. And this time I was thinking about all you people who like to do craft sales and I made myself a pizza uh, bag topper and I made the box this time using acetate open it up and you can see what it looks like when you don't spray it with water so I made my little pizza bag topper just simply by printing out a free image of a pizza and using a round circle die and then just gluing it over with some sticky tape but I put some Italian herbs there and also some chili pepper flakes. So for anybody that likes to do craft sales and want to do sort of like 
pizza seasoning toppings or just as a gift for somebody who's always out there with the barbecue and stuff it's a great little gift and of course you should use the right size bags to go inside but what I am going to do is I'm going to measure this box fully made up for you so having made a complete hash of my creativity today I'm still happy to share it with you so here we go and of course you could put a huge chocolate chip cookie in here it makes a box that's four inches by four inches by three quarters of an inch deep so it really really is lovely but you know had I not squirted this one with water while spraying my cactus it would have been fine but that is what I have for you today my disaster <laughs> You have a wonderful day as usual all links below and I'll be back tomorrow with who knows what but I feel like I'm going to get my pens out again and do some more colouring. Bye.